Hey loves, welcome to day 41 of the last 90 days of their video journals. Sheila here from madamebay.com where we talk about everything weight loss, wellness, healing naturally, healthy recipes and lifestyle. In today's video I'm bringing you a healing naturally video because like I told you guys yesterday I'm going to be answering some of your questions and the most frequently watched video on my channel is actually a healing naturally video where I was talking about how to heal um, yeast infections with garlic and sharing some home remedies. Today I want to expand more on that video because that's not the only tip I had for you. I have way too many tips. Actually not way too many. I have three main tips. I only shared with you guys one and you guys seem to love it. So today I'm going to share with you the second method that you can counteract with the first one that I shared with you guys in this video here so please go check it out if you haven't because for me that is like the best way I can heal infections naturally at home I used to get infections a lot and I used to always complain if you guys know me personally I'm that kind of person that if I go anywhere the first thing I'm going to check for is if the toilet is clean if I'm moving into a house if I go to a restaurant if I go to my friends houses if I'm like checking an Airbnb whatever it is the first thing I always check is the toilet because feminine health and general health comes first before anything. Now today I'm going to share with you guys how to use apple cider vinegar to heal yeast infections or UTIs. Now for me if you guys know this and have been here a while I've shared so many videos with you guys where I have my magic morning drink and all that stuff. Apple cider vinegar is a part of my diet daily because apple cider vinegar is a natural antibiotic which means it helps the body fight fungi and bacteria that is caused by microorganisms now how do you use apple cider vinegar to prevent yeast infections today i went to buy groceries and i was out of apple cider vinegar and when i went to the grocery store uh, they were out of apple cider vinegar so unfortunately i cannot show you which apple cider vinegar to use however i'm going to put it over here it's the bragg's brand even if it's not the Bragg's brand, always find the one with the mother because the one with the mother that is unfiltered, that is natural, is the one that is good for you. Not the commercial one that you normally get that is written apple cider vinegar, not that kind. A lot of people go and buy the one that is unnatural, that has so many additives and it doesn't work for them and then they complain. So that is why I need to set that out. When you're buying apple cider vinegar, make sure it's apple cider vinegar with the mother and it's natural apple cider vinegar i'm going to leave a link in the description box down below to the bragg's kind if you guys want and you can't find it in your area you can get yourself one on amazon so what you do for apple cider vinegar one is you consume it of course when you consume apple cider vinegar you cannot consume it raw the way it is because it's really really harmful like it's really strong it's capable of burning your body so what you're going to do is get a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar together with eight ounces of water which is basically a glass of water and drink that the reason why you do that is when you drink that at least three times a day it's a probiotic which means it helps clean your system and it helps keep the good bacteria which in turn prevents infections from the inside now that is the first way the second way is clean your vag or your girl area with apple cider vinegar how do you do that the same rules apply however this time you get two tablespoons to two liters of water that is the ratio of apple cider vinegar you need or a cup of apple cider vinegar in your bath if it's in the bath you just sit in the bath for like 30 minutes at least twice a day it helps clean the place up i'm not saying that go ahead and douche douching is not good for you if you ask what douching is it means like putting the apple cider vinegar inside you that is not good because when you do that it's going to kill the good bacteria inside and if it kills the good bacteria your body is not going to be able to fight against uh, infections in the future that is why it's not good to put inside however you can wash yourself with it wash like the entrance and the outside i don't know how to explain this without laughing but that is what you do clean yourself up with that and then dry it after when you do that it's going to help kill the bacteria outside and also keep it dry because bacteria thrive in moist areas and if you want to know how to keep your girl clean like general feminine health i've done an intense video sharing i think i don't even know how many there were but i think there were like 10 feminine health tips i'm going to leave a link to that above be sure to check it out but after you've done this personally i think the reason why i don't get infections anymore is the last time i got an infection which is like over two years ago is i used this same exact method i'll share the third one if you guys want to know let me know in the comment section down below if you've tried both these methods that i've told you and they haven't worked i will share with you the third one in another video but i don't want this video to get long but yeah these two tips are enough 
for you to heal your infection in three days if you do this together with the garlic video which if you haven't watched you should go back and watch it's going to help you heal infections from now and you'll probably never get them again because let me tell you something i used to get infections so much i used to take antibiotics i used to use pessaries all the time but i haven't used them in two years which is great i don't know about you guys but i know in first world countries it's not easy for you guys to get antibiotics over the counter but in uganda and in most african countries not just uganda i went to school in nairobi and it was the same thing it's easy to get over the counter antibiotics so every time i had an infection i'll just go over the counter and they would prescribe all these things that were really really strong for the body yet there's all these natural means that you can use that are very cheap and very good for the body the good thing about apple cider vinegar it has no side effects and that is great so because it has no side effects you can use as much as you want as long as you do not use it in its acidic form you know anyway so yeah that is it really apple cider vinegar is magic it's magic for so many things it's magic because it helps your body from inside out also if you have like uh, skin infections i also have another video where i had uh, a cold sore i had never gotten a cold sore in my life but apple cider vinegar helped me if you guys are suffering from that i have a lot of healing naturally videos on my channel so feel free to check those out but yeah that is what i wanted to tell you guys today apple cider vinegar is also good when it comes to weight loss it's not only good for healing it's also good for weight loss and i have done a video on it where i did an experiment for a week to see if i was going to lose any weight and oh my god it was it gave me some amazing results i still use it until today however it's not for weight loss it's mostly for my body's general health but yeah you can check that video out and for those of you guys that are always here watching my weight loss journey tomorrow we are going to be starting the be your own babe bootcamp together i'm so excited to do it with you guys so if you have not already please join us if you're looking to lose weight and are ready to ditch your excuses or maybe you've been struggling to lose weight for a very long time without getting the results you're looking for yeah we're doing this tomorrow i'm going to leave the link to sign up in the description box down below all you have to do is sign up show up and glow up let's do this anyway guys i know today i wasn't talking about weight loss or personal growth or all that stuff but this is equally an important video and i know it's going to be helpful to someone out there and that is what i aim to do to help someone out there so i hope this video was helpful to you and if it was don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel also subscribe to my channel ring the bell right next to it to be notified the next time i upload a new video which is tomorrow because i'm dedicated to showing up here every day to be the best version of myself and encourage you guys to do the same for yourself inspire you educate or motivate you in some kind of way so i'll see you back here tomorrow as always do not forget to stay motivated be patient trust the process and spread the love bye for now see you tomorrow